Hi everybody, I'm Pax Ash and welcome back to Pax's Plays Neko Jishi. This is the third episode I'm recording, so you know what that means. I am done for the day. So anyway, it's Friday. Another week's gone by and I still have no clue what to do. Oh god. Every time. Hi. <laughs> what? Senpai jumps out of nowhere, determined to get my attention. Shocking the living daylights out of me like usual. Hey, this weekend, let's go out together. Again? Senpai, you always want to go out. Aren't you tired? Weekends are for having fun with your free time. Come on, Liao, aren't you bored of staying in all day? I'm fine with staying in. It's a great chance to get a rest. With the three cats around, it's hard to take care of them every day. Then they always want to go hang out go out on the weekends, too. Sometimes I just want a day with nothing to do, just to stay at home, rest, and take my mind off things. And this weekend, there's Qingming, the Tomb Swoopy Festival coming up, which means we should go to it. Slightly lower. There we go. You always want to go somewhere every week. This this is way different than all those weekends. It's the perfect time of the season to go to a festival. What's so special about this season? Come on, Liao, think for just a second. Well, it's spring. We already went to the hot springs, and you can't say there's many cherry blossoms in Taiwan. Cherry blossoms? Getting warmer. Perhaps there's another tree I'm thinking of. Uh, Taiwan doesn't have any blossom festivals. What do you mean? You really don't know what I'm talking about, do you, Liao? I'm talking about tongue blossoms. Tongue blossoms? What? How do you- How don't you know about tongue blossoms? They're literally everywhere. Alright, let's- I don't know what the fuck they are. The Hakatung Blossom Festival. Established in 2002 in Taiwan, the Hakatung Blossom Festival is a recent festival that promotes Hakka culture and ecotourism. Tongue flowers typically bloom around April or May, as such the date of the festival changes every year to reflect this. That's nice. Yeah, the ecotourism, not ecotourism. <laughs> Apparently I've forgotten how to read. So soon all the Tung Blossom Gardens are going to be full of tourists wanting to see them, meaning now's the best time to go. Ads promoting the Hakka Tung Blossom Festival have been everywhere. How have you not seen one by now? Probably because I'm too busy being at the beck and call of three cat spirits. Huh, the Hakka Tung Blossom Festival? Well, I can't say I've really looked it up, but this has to be the best time to see them regardless, so we should go together. Flower blossoms, huh? I don't actually know what tomb blossoms look like, but I guess the tomb blossom garden is probably going to be pretty similar to cherry blossom ones. I don't know if it's tongue or tomb, so I'm just saying it both ways. <laughs> Honestly, as it stands, I've only ever see even seen cherry blossoms bloom in manga. You know, those slash doujins I've been reading. So where can we go to see them? Well, the best tomb blossom gardens are in Xinchao and Miaoli. Or, since you. It, uh, I, I'm probably not saying either of those right, it's fine. Well, it's not fine, but we're moving on. As much as I'd love to show you my hometown covered in a sea of blossoms, you probably don't want to go that far. The places around here are really nice, too. So, where are they around here? That mountain way behind our campus is known to have wonderful gardens. A perfect day trip for the two of us. Huh, that's actually not that far out. But since it's in the mountains, then that means we have to hike up, don't we? You don't like hiking? Oh, it's not that, I'm just thinking out loud. Honestly, it sounds a lot nicer than the usual Liao, let's go look at some shops full of stuff we can't buy. I don't know why, but I prefer places that don't have many people around. Same. Okay, so what do we need to bring? Well, we can bring stuff for a picnic. It won't be much to put together. I can even do it all for you if you want. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm all for it. But I'm not sure about how the other two feel about it. D oh, that was a weird close-up. I turned to look at the other two cats. The tiger shrugs his shoulders, and the leopard is just sitting there looking blankly like usual. I take no issue with this outing. <laughs> so, we're, so then we're set. We're gonna go see the bloss flowers blossom tomorrow. And that's how yet another weekend was planned out for me. so cold. Yeah, the air up here is super refreshing. <laughs> He's just not wearing sleeves and in shorts still. Are you even capable of feeling cold, senpai? It's already April. Who needs a jacket this time of year? This high up, of course you need a jacket. Aw, Leo can't handle a cool breeze. You do have fur. That's hardly fair. Well, not really. Tiger and Leopard are spirits, so it's not like they feel the cold. Enough, you two. Kidding. Don't, don't encourage Leo to catch a cold. 
This old man's always telling you to put more clothes on, Liao. It's such a pain to have to put on a bunch of clothes to, just to take them off again. Oh, more of a pain than getting sick? <laughs> I thought he was backing out of the conversation. I didn't realize he was being nice. <laughs> Leopard comes over to me. Before I work out what he's doing, he presses his paws against my ears, sending his warmth right through me. It really cuts through the cold. Oh, thank you. I want to try. You keep your fucking paws off me. Jesus. Senpai runs over and gives me a big hug. Kidding. I was expecting Tiger to come over and pull Senpai off me. Instead, he pulls all of us, including Senpai and Leopard, into his arms with one big hug. Okay, I think that's enough. Being hugged by the three of them really is heartwarming, but I'm kind of anxious over seeing so someone seeing us. Well, me and Senpai, that is. It's weird for two guys to be hugging like this out in the open. Hey, okay, okay. Ugh, oh, shit, I didn't mean to move my laptop. I did think to try and push them off me, but I knew I wouldn't have been able to, so I just stand there, enjoying their warm care and affection. I don't know why the screen went back. They let go of me, eventually. Worried about anyone having seen us, I rush them and move on. Oh, hi. You? So that's them, huh? Didn't expect the rumors to be right. This is gonna be hilarious. I don't know why that's my, that's my like, evil looking guy voice. We follow Senpai to a small path going up the mountain. Oh, the music came in loud. <laughs> well, this mountain has been built off of tourism, the hiking trails wind all over the place. Without Senpai, we'd probably have gotten lost by now. Let me see. Okay, according to the map, this spot over here should be the best place to see the flowers. This way. Hey, Senpai, what do Tung flowers even look like? Oh, they're white, and when they fall to the ground, it looks like snow. I'm surprised we haven't even run into a few yet. They should be right around... We walk down the path, enjoying the fresh mountain air, but still not seeing any flowers other than a few bushes growing alongside the hiking trails. Maybe if we go further in... We go further along the trail until we came across a series of stone steps. Imagine how many stones they'd have to bring out here to make all these steps. The neatly placed stone walkways make hiking up a mountain feel like a leisurely walk through the park. A little further on and the walkways cease to be paved with stone, becoming dirt paths, stamped out by visitors over decades of use. Thankfully, the weather had been nice to the last few days, so it wasn't muddy. How weird. All this way in is still no flowers. You think we went the wrong way? Maybe. Maybe what? Senpai didn't answer and just kept walking quickly ahead, the map held tightly in his hand. There was nothing he could do but follow. It should be around here. We arrived at a place that looked like an abandoned farm with a small hut on the far side. This looks like a place where a can like a cannibal hillbilly serial killer in a bad horror movie would be waiting. Next to the empty field stood a grand tree, its shade reaching out over the ground below where a large boulder laid beneath. It seemed like the perfect place to sit and have a rest. Well, this must be the spot, but I guess this tree hasn't started blooming yet. Bummer. So this is a tongue tree? Yeah, a really big one too, but I guess we're here early. In Miali, the flowers should be blooming right about this time of year. Hmm, that would probably be, be probably be because we are in the north. What difference does that make? Taipei is further north than Miali, so perhaps the flower season begins later. That, that can't be right. I just wanted to bring Liao up here to see the flower blossoms together. Senpai, I still think this place is really nice. Isn't it the perfect time to have our picnic anyway? It's a shame we didn't see the blossoms, but I didn't know what to expect anyway, so it's not like I feel like I missed out on anything. Maybe there's still another way. Senpai runs over to the tree, holding his paws against the trunk. Nothing good could possibly come of this. <laughs> Maybe if I do this. Yeah, I'll just wait for a sec. I'm gonna try something pretty hard. R really? Senpai stands before the tree, puts his paws up to his chest, and performs some kind of ritualistic hand sign. A green aura slowly starts to emanate from within him. Ugh. <laughs> Tiger does not like whatever's happening. Neither does Leopard. Tiger and Leopard seem kind of nervous. What's going on? The green aura quickly surrounds the tree, slowly seeping into it. As this happens, the tree begins to shake irrespective of the breeze. Oh boy, now there's white paint dots. <laughs> Some of the flower buds begin to open up on top of the tree. Suddenly, as if a wave of energy had shot down the tree, all the flowers blossom at once. 
A sea of white petals cover the branches of the Grand Tung Tree before me. Some of them even begin to fall to the lone boulder below. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. <laughs> I don't know why, like, I... I got really slurry there for a second. Not bad. Pretty. Ah, uh, leopard approves. <laughs> I go over to pick up one of the tongue petals. It's pure white, not a blemish to be seen. The flowers even had a pollen inside them. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought the petal had blossomed normally, just like any other. Senpai, that was awesome. Amazing, wasn't it? I'm just gonna roller skate in here. It may be only... It may only be one tree, but now you get to see the tomb blossoms, Liao. But Senpai, I thought you didn't have any god powers. How'd you manage something like that? Oh, I've had that power ever since I became a Yaogawai. You don't learn tricks like that from a local god of soil, after all. Oh. Well, now that I've prepared such wonderful scenery, let's hurry up and dig into our picnic. <laughs> just gonna just gonna duck down here. Don't mind me. Senpai swiftly takes the blanket out from his backpack and spreads it down between falling tongue petals. If I just mean picnics, the picnics mean I needed to pack heaps of sweets to give us the energy to make it back home. So what do you have in store for us, Liao? Sweets? We weren't kids, you know, Mr. Big College Senpai. Well, I say cherish your youth. Or cherish the youth of the body you that you are possessing. Senpai drops his backpack down and takes out some cookies, crackers, and an assortment of pastries. I mean, you could eat all that in one go, but it's hardly a proper meal. <laughs> just pop him right back up like a pop-up book. So what delectable treats did the owl bring? I open my backpack and silently take out a bento box I prepared earlier this morning. I made it while Senpai was still sleeping. I never cook, so I just used some recipe I found on the internet. So it probably didn't turn out any good. Not to mention those mistakes I made while putting it together. Thankfully, Tiger was there to help me fix them. I tried my best to cook a variety of vegetables and meat. At the very least, it should be good for me. Oh, leopard sees something he likes. It's almost like your wife cooking their husband a delicious meal. No way, I was just thinking that I should make it, try making a bento for a picnic. Yow, I never thought you would do that for me. Oh god, he's vibrating. <laughs> it's like a Sami in Project Voice Bend. <laughs> Check out Project Voice Bend if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Enough kidding. Yow never said he made it for you. I will stomp in your direction. Then who else would he make it for? It's not like you need to eat. After offering it, Liao could certainly eat it all for us. That would be such a waste. I don't see how. Liao, you made the bento for me, didn't you? I taught Liao how to make it. If anything, it should be an offering to me. Liao's bento. I want. It's only a bento. I quickly hide the bento behind my back to keep it away from any funny ideas they might have. Hey, no need to bicker over it. I made this for my lunch today. Why would you think I made it for you? But, yeah, wouldn't it make- <clears throat> Oh, my voice went weird. Wouldn't it make more sense to offer it to us before you eat it? There's no downside to you at all. It's true. It'd be kind of mean to not let you guys have at it for no reason. Wait, if you did that, everyone would get to eat the bento but me. No fair. You don't need- <laughs> It looks so awkward when they turn the art around. Cool, Al, you too? I just want to taste some of Liao's homemade cooking. Is that too much to ask? Senpai looks at me with unconvincing, sad puppy eyes while Tiger and Leopard slowly close in on me. What should I do? I mean, well, I gotta go with Clouded Leopard, my boy. <laughs> hey, okay now, you three just need to stop fighting over this. I made this and it's my choice to give it to one of you, got it? Of course. I guess I'll offer it to Leopard. What are you doing? What? What's got Leopard so tense? I watch him trying to scrutinize what's going on. I think he's looking behind me. Quickly, I turn my head to see what's up. Oh, hello. That meat is way too salty, don't you think? I don't even know if that's the tone I gave him. Well, I guess I'll leave it here. <laughs> I'm on a cliffhanger too. So <laughs> that'll be the end of this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.